Hi there, welcome to my course on how to upsell your customers on additional digital products, coaching and or consulting services. So let's take an example and look at my current um, course. So right now this is a free course, but let's just say after the free course, I want to offer and encourage people to sign up for additional support and coaching from me. So what I can do and what I really encourage all of us to do is, you know, to offer that additional support and guidance and mentorship to our customers and our students. And so what I did was I created a text lesson in Thinkific and I called it additional support and coaching. And this is where I mentioned the different ways that people can work with me. And so at the first uh, level, I do mention that I do have a premium one on one monthly coaching. And that before anyone can purchase the one on one coaching, I really want people to sign up for a call to see that's the right step for them. Because not everyone needs um, a whole lot of coaching. And so I don't want to mislead people and to say like you need a whole month of coaching, maybe you just need a few hours. And so that's at the most highest tier level that I offer. The second tier is what I offer is five hours of coaching that they can use within one month of purchase. Now, I really want to mention why I say within one month of purchase, because the idea is if you do not um, set a limit, then that five hours could be extended over the course of a year. And that doesn't really help your students and that also doesn't help you in terms of a business because if someone buys a package of five hours over the course of, you know, a year, then they're really going to take their time and that doesn't really help them grow as well. So I always say within one month because, you know, there's a lot that you can cover uh, in one month and five hours does give someone a lot of support. And I really think that's important to sort of set uh, many different pricing options to make it accessible and also affordable for your customers. And then the option here is what I can say is you can pay for this service here. Uh, and I don't include the link right now because I want to say that uh, there's a way that you can set this up within Thinkific that's similar to how I set up the one-on-one -on -one, um, additional coaching. And then as a final, I do offer one-on-one -on -one, uh, hourly consultations, uh, but I don't recommend um, you add this because one hour doesn't really help you grow as a business that if you can sort of offer bundles and packages and different products, you can really scale your business that way. So let's look at um, this example further. Like if I were to offer additional coaching and I wanna set it up within Thinkific so that all the payment is set up within Thinkific and I don't have to send people to another landing page. I don't have to create another payment page. I can just set it up within Thinkific. So what I've done then is made this course a duplicate course so I've duplicated it and then I charge for it. So if you see in my courses, I've duplicated it here. And this is my uh, coaching um, offer and upsell. So this is a thousand dollars. And so if you look at the pricing tab, you will see that I charge a thousand dollars. And so for people who are interested and they book the call, then they can go right to this link and uh, purchase the one-on-one -on -one monthly coaching. And this is really important because uh, you do not want to spend too much time kind of manually setting up payment links and sending people to, you know, a Stripe page or even a PayPal page. You really want to kind of have a one-stop shop within Thinkific to uh, manage and automate your payment and automate your marketing and automate your sales process. So that's one way of doing it. I also want to show you another way that you can do it. So if I wanted to, let's just say, go back here and um, one of my offers is um, uh, five hours of coaching, I can do the same thing and just duplicate this course and whatever my five, let's just say my five hour coaching price is $600, then I would uh, duplicate this course. So I'll save this and then duplicate this course by going to my portal and here i can duplicate it here and uh, charge 600 for this um, package uh, on my platform and so this gives students uh, and i would also then suggest you change this so that you can say well this is the free course this is the premium tier and then your third one would be your um, mid-tier um, five hour of coaching with this course. 
And so that kind of allows you to set different price points and different bundles and different products within Thinkific. Now, if you also want, there's another way to do it. So I'm going to go into my course. Oh, that's not the right one, but I'll go back to this course and show you what else uh, that you can do. And so if uh, you are saying, well, I want to definitely upsell, then what I want to do is click on upsell. And the other way to do it is then to mention this, um, not just in that lesson there, but also look for this course. And so I've already selected it here and then make sure that it's on my landing page and thank you page and then click save because then what's gonna happen is that now that I've selected the landing page and thank you page, what will happen is when I go to my publish, um, I will make sure then this is hitting publish so that people can see that this course is available to sign up. And then in the after purchase tab, this is where I will set up the automated sequence. So here I've already set it up, but you can set it up different ways. Um, I set it up so that after they go um, uh, finish the course and complete the course, then the first um, automated sequence will be uh, the upsell of the additional $1,000 a month uh, monthly coaching. And that will sort of take them to that upsell page. Now, another uh, interesting kind of strategy that and kind of trick that you can use within Thinkific is that um, then you can also sell um, additional digital products. So let's just say this reverse engineering online course creation is its own PDF. Instead of filling out the curriculum, I would just delete all of this and then just add a PDF by adding a lesson, add a PDF, upload the file, click on save, and then publish it so that people can directly publish this. And then the main thing, as you'll see, is going back to that main course, if you're trying to sell a series of packages and bundles after the initial course, then you want to go back to the course and click on the upsell. Uh, the upsell tab is really crucial uh, because it allows you to select different courses and create different bundles and packages to offer your students. And remember, upsell uh, is really about getting more sales and continuing to build that relationship with your students and your audience to say, hey, I want you to continue on this path. And it's a great way to um, uh, scale your business and to think about creating learning paths. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment, leave a question. Um, I'm happy to help. Uh, thanks again for watching. And I hope uh, you really um, found this useful and let me know what I can help with.